Hey up lads and lasses, Damfire here, back again with some more Infinite Lagrange content. So today I got a really interesting one. We have a sort of discussion, interviews type thing with uh, one of the Chinese content creators. Uh, goes by the name of Wayne. So, uh, just a quick little bit on what going on we are talking about the differences between sort of the western servers and the chinese servers uh, to see if there are any differences between uh, the meta fleets uh, and stuff like that maybe they enjoy uh, like i really hate data recovery um, compared to say trojite or node recovery and uh, so get the differences in um, how they uh, perceive how the games uh, is uh, within the Chinese servers as they are completely separate from the Western uh, servers and the, the rest of the world servers. Um, so yeah, it's uh, more about that and that kind of stuff, which is kind of cool and interesting. This is quite a long video. Um, it's not easy to chapter either, so I don't think I'll be able to chapter it particularly easily. Uh, I will give it a go though, so you can skip to maybe some of the bits that you may want, but it is uh, definitely on the longer side. Uh, there is no video for it, because for whatever reason, I couldn't get Discord to pick up my camera. Uh, so it is just voice. I have uh, put some battles and stuff in the background because uh, I know a lot of people wanted to see some uh, more battle footage in just general. So I've added in some stuff, some stuff you previously and I've put in the uh, battleship because uh, I thought that was quite a good battle and some other battles that haven't been on the channel including a fleet I tested which was all cruises and stuff like that uh, just to give it a little bit of a variant and something to uh, enjoy and watch uh, while listening as it is definitely a bit more of a talking um, type video. Either way, I hope you guys enjoy. It's definitely an interesting to get a different perspective within the game uh, from other content creators, uh, and especially if they're over on the Chinese server, because again, like I mentioned, separate servers. Uh, so they uh, do things sometimes a little bit differently and stuff like that. So enjoy and well, you will hear me in the video. So, um, oh, yeah. we've got Wayne here, and he's off the Chinese servers. He's a content creator like myself, and uh, we have some questions and stuff to see if there's any differences between the Western side of things and the Chinese servers. Uh, so, yeah, we'll kick off with the question, shall we? So, um, Wayne, what is your favorite yeah. server type? Uh, for example, Snow yeah. Recovery, Day Recovery, or Trojite? Yes, we, we prefer the load recovery, and we hate the data recovery server, because the data recovery is too heavy to a mobile game. And, and in, the, in the data recovery server, it's almost banned the fast fleet. We can com combine a fast, a fast ship with a slow ship. We can only separate them with only fast ship on, uh, in the in the fog area, and and heavy ships only uh, in the in the normal in the normal area. So so we, we don't like play data recovery. But sometimes uh, there's too much data recovery server. So we can we, or we have two choice choice them. Otherwise, we should wait for several weeks. Yeah, no, so we, yeah. we we get the same issue. So it's like the problem with data recovery for us was because of the situation of, well, you know, the sun exploding and trying to kill you and the radiation and everything. It forces you to fight within the fog a lot which causes, you know, anything cruiser and above to be absolutely useless in those fights. And you, I had, uh, I think the entire server, I had two cruisers out, uh, two KCCVs for scouting just to get my frig destroyer fleets into the fog. Uh, but yeah, it, it, it did turn out, like I, I had carriers built, it didn't ever get used. I had battle cruisers built, didn't ever get used. So no, I'm definitely with you on that one. I, I wasn't a fan of data recovery either um i haven't actually done node recovery uh not since they updated it so i like i did uh phase two uh but not phase 2.5 which is like when they changed it to node recovery um 
So yeah, I've not actually done load recovery yet. I've done Trojite a few times and I'm on a Trojite server at the current moment. So yeah. So uh yeah, Trojite is it is is fine. It's fine. It, it it's uh it's okay. It's yeah, okay, it, but it's not it, it not can be a little grindy. Yeah. A little uh, grindy. Yeah, but otherwise, yeah, I, I don't mind the Trojite server. You're not stuck into a particular game style or gameplay style. Uh, so yeah, I think I think the Trojite works. Uh, it, it does get yeah. a little bit boring towards the end of the server when everyone's rushing around to get rating points. So you, everyone is just sat there, you know, mining Trojite and there isn't much combat or anything happening. That gets a little, uh, little bit boring towards the end. But yeah, otherwise, I, I think they're pretty good. Yeah, I agree. We, I, I thought, I thought we agree with, 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 with which kinds of server we, 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 we don't like. Yeah. And, <laughs> yeah, and we move to the second question. Yeah. So second, uh, is there an obvious meta for setup for fleets? Uh, for an example, at the current moment, um, uh, I know you've uh, you know, showed me those fleets, so we just want to talk about those a little bit. Uh, I uh, will bring those up, actually, so I can see them as well, the, the things that you sent. So um, at the current moment, basically, it looks like everyone, including your server, are running the same fleets. That's correct, right? Um, not everyone, because some 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 people don't have some crucial uh, ships in the build. Yeah, so, yeah. So, uh, but it's um, but we have uh, about f uh, about four kind of fleet, about four kind of fleet. If if you play uh, several seasons, that you you can have uh, more than half half kind of a uh, blueprint. So. So in that situation, uh, we we can have a fast fleet. Fast fleet, uh, but there are two kind of of fast fleet. Uh, one is fast fleet with aircraft, uh, because it it spend all uh, all aircraft resource. So so it's kind of give up another fleet. You only play a fast fleet with aircraft, and the other choice is a fast fleet without aircraft. You can you can take your aircraft to uh to to your heavy fleet, and the and the set and and the third the third the third one is is variable fleet or we call variable fleet or mid speed fleet with uh with CV three K and and some some high dodge destroyer ship at the front line. That that kind is. Uh, but if you if we choose if we choose the variable fleet or mid speed fleet, it also gives up another fleet. You only you 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 still spend all your CP points to uh, to the to to one fleet. And yes, so that's pretty much the same as us. Um... We're running uh, pretty much all fleets at the current moment have some form of dodge tank on the front, usually special Carillion because of that 85% dodge rate it can hit, which means it's it's pretty nasty to try and go up against. If you've got any direct fire weapons, it ignores most of the fire. Uh, then it's mostly Frig Destroyer, a heavy use of Tundra aircraft. If you don't have Tundra aircraft, you run Ceres. Uh, if you don't have Ceres aircraft, well, you're not going to compete particularly well at the, the higher levels. Um, uh, then Guardian dual purpose. If you don't have Guardian dual purpose, you will have AC uh, dual purpose, uh, AC 721 dual purpose. So that's always getting run at the current moment. Um, and then yeah, it's it's literally just frigate destroyers. Uh, and spam as many aircraft as you can. If you have to go into the fog, you just reinforce with more uh, destroyers or frigates. And if you don't have to go into the fog, uh, reinforce with CV3K and or Solar Whale and just bring more aircraft in. The problem with it at the current moment though is um, unless you have literally in the fleet Mistral, Spore and Sandrake, 
you can't beat another aircraft fleet and aircraft's just prevalent because the AA uh, currently is only working on two ships, the Xeno Defensive and the uh, uh, Ion Ruby. Both of their aircraft, anti-aircraft weapons uh, are working, but the, the rest uh, seem to struggle or not do anything at all against aircraft fleet. Uh, so it's caused a meta where literally every player at a decent level that has enough of the ships unlocked only runs aircraft and swarm. Yeah, I agree with this. You fix uh, a bug. Uh, we, we we can we can have all, very uh, have very few uh, counter to spawn the aircraft. Uh, that's the same thing uh, in both server. Yeah, and we as and sometimes we we have other uh, other choice on the on the most heavy fleet uh, with only with only uh, with only on uh, six six peers. Only sex peers at our front line. Uh, don't don't pick any any car car reliant. Um. Yeah, yeah. No, I've I've seen some of the the like the really big whales uh, that have like V three battle cruisers and stuff like that. I've seen them running very heavy fleets that run you know Spear of Uranus and uh, CTG usually backed up with uh, Solar Whale, uh, so there is still aircraft in their fleets as well. But yeah, I, I don't often see that fleet. I think I've only seen it maybe twice. Yeah, that, that is very usual in, in Chinese server. In Chinese server, we, we, we sometimes we have more than 20 player can 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 have uh, can have those those views uh, in one union. Oh wow, <laughs> that's, that's some quality in your unions then, <laughs> that's definitely higher yeah. than we have in our, ours. I think most of the time you'll find in most average u uh, unions maybe one to three players that could field a fleet like that. Uh, some of like the, the top unions, they might have a dozen players that could field those type of fleets. Um, but yeah, nowhere near like twenty. Yeah, I'm, and I hear some some, inform, some information. I can I don't confirm that that uh, in Chinese server they they try to they try to build some union with more than uh, fifty or eighty play players. The it's this one the mega death union death. of death yeah. and destruction. <laughs> Love it. <Yeah. laughs> Um, should we move on to the next question? Yeah, the next question is what is the most sold after feature on your service for a battleship? Yeah, for us for it's uh, battleships. So like, yeah. if I, especially like on my videos and stuff, uh, and I've done a recent one with the war spite in it, uh, which is the NPC battleships. We know the battleships are around. We've known about them for like a good year now. Uh, I think I first heard about them, um, I think September last year, maybe, or something like that. Someone sent me battle reports and of the war spine. I did a little video then. I've done a video recently because I finally found one of the level 12 fleets with them in, and uh, I did a video and it like shot up and like. But every single video almost I put out is, when are we getting battleships? When are we getting auxiliary ships? Um, so that's the, easily going to be the most sought after feature. And the, uh, and the war spite is an interesting name, because I remember it's a very famous British battleship in the history. Yeah, there's, um, they, 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 they like the British name ships uh, for the pirate fleets. Like the Indefaga... Inter this is the word. I know, I'm, I'm English and I can't pronounce it. <laughs> the yeah. Indefagatable. <laughs> that thing. Uh, that's also a famous uh, British battleship from World War Two. Maybe they use this name because the fallen British the Empire Navy. Yeah, maybe, or or maybe just because they go, do you know what, there's loads of these English speakers, we're going to name a ship something that no one can pronounce, even if they are English. That, that was my guess. 
Okay. Um, so are, are, you, are you guys looking for battleships as well as like your feature, or are you looking more for game modes and new server types, or? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. For 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 Wales player, the the they must be they must be like battleships because the battleship they, they can they can have another uh, choices. Yeah, something for the, them to uh, farm yeah. again. Yeah, but but battleship it's definitely lead lead you to purchase a lot in the future. So maybe some some may, maybe some some good destroyers or buff the cruiser or is it, it, is better for for normal player. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but I, I generally think that like some of the cruisers could be good. They're just at the current moment overcosted uh, CP wise. Like eighteen CP to run IO, and IO melts like butter uh, against most fleets, especially aircraft fleets at the current moment. Uh, heavy cannon Chimera again. It's got fantastic potential, great damage output, uh, low lock on speed. So you know it's definitely usable. But at 20 CP, you know, per ship, it's it just doesn't live up to the the cost of uh, running it. Again, this falls down to the meta again of aircraft uh, being overpowered. And but uh, yeah, and even Chimera heavy cannon is is very vulnerable compared with the dodge tank or spears. Yeah, because it, it it can't dodge, and uh, we've been doing some hit rate uh, calculations. Well, uh, Null Pointer and a few other uh, guys have been doing it, and they they're like these mega guys that do like big spreadsheets of all the damage outputs and stuff like that. And they've been looking at hit rates, and uh, as the ship gets bigger, the hit rate against it gets better. So the, yeah, the, you can't really dodge in cruisers, even if you, you know, I've, I run the high speed IO, which has got the increased dodge rate on the evasion against frigate uh, fleets. Even that was just getting uh, annihilated uh, pretty quickly, which is a bit unfortunate. Yeah. Um, and, and the other thing with uh, Chimera and Noma ships in general is the low energy resistances. They have great armor, but low energy resistances. And you do see a lot of energy based damage coming out at the current moment. A lot of people run Taurus, a lot of people uh, run Xeno Stinger. Uh, so, yeah, there, there is a bit of that going on as well. Yeah, and we already leave, leave leave the question to the next one is which which which, which one need to barf and which one need a nerf. And yeah. so so we all agree with. Um, I I guess most most cruiser need need a buff. Most cruiser need a buff. Yeah. So I I was thinking about this, and there is like an overall theme of. Frig Destroyer. Now, you, the most expensive frigs that are used are about 6 CP cost, like the Xeno Stinger. And for 6 CP, you're getting 11,000 paper DPM, which is absolutely massive. You compare that to, say, uh, a heavy torpedo Callisto, where you're getting about 30,000 DPM for 20, C, uh, 20 CP cost, which means for 6 CP, you can run three Xeno for 18 CP and you're getting 33,000 DPM. So it's a technically, it's even better than the single uh, heavy torpedo Callisto. Uh, and that's the highest DPM cruiser in the game at the current moment. So they, they are just over CP costed because most of them don't even come to that. I think the, the high speed IO, when you've got hit rate buffs and uh, mods on it, it's only hitting uh, about 19,000 DPM for 18 CP cost. So it's a whole, you know, 12,000 uh, DPM less than three Xeno for the same CP. And it's larger, so it's got no dodge rate really because it, everything hits it because it's a cruiser. Um, so yeah, I, either they need to like bring the whole cruiser CP down to a usable level or they need to nerf destroyers and some choice frigates to have a higher CP cost so you can't just spam them. And they need to do the overall uh, AA fix to stop 
um, swarm just being prevalent. I understand having the idea of uh, bombers and stuff uh, within the game, and I think they should be there, but not in the, like the mass at the moment that we're currently seeing. Yes. Uh, the, this this point I also agree with you. So, but 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 maybe maybe but the cruiser is better than the nerf the destroyers, I guess. And because people can uh, can 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 agree agree with with buff their ship more than nerf that and and we and we don't we don't think uh, we don't think there there are some ship is is so much overpower current in in current version um big we we spawn aircraft and aircraft carrier because because we don't have other choice. We don't have battleship or some high damage destroyer or 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 cruiser can compare with the aircraft carrier. Yeah, nothing has the the force multiplier that the aircraft carriers currently bring. Um, just because you know. Aircraft have no CP cost in a fleet, so if you are running a CV3K with a couple of mods, you're bringing in, uh, what is it, like five heavy uh, fighters, so you bring in uh, your Vetus Bs, which have absurd damage output, um, and then you're bringing in, you know, six Corvettes as well, so you bring your T800s or you bring your cellular defenders or something like that, and you know, you, all of a sudden, you've got a carrier that's got the damage potential of a battle cruiser, technically, with uh, usually a better tank. Uh, obviously, in the case of a CV3K, slightly worse tank than, say, maybe a Spear, but it's probably still better when it's upgraded than CTG, Eternal Storm, and almost certainly the SD59. The SD59's low health pool really does hurt it quite a bit. Yeah, fix. Fix uh, AA and or fix AA and give us some very high damage dealer uh, small ship. I think can can make can make some alternative choice than aircraft carrier. Yeah, yeah. They uh, so there is at the current moment we have the Ruby Ion. The AA is working and it works quite well, but it's not enough. The Xeno Defensive, it also works quite well. Doesn't do so well against uh, fighters, but it's fantastic against Corvettes. Um, and they both work. So you have the AA Winged Hussar. That doesn't do any AA damage. It's also front row, which seems a bit odd because most fighters and stuff will hit uh, back row and mid row. Uh, there is the Mer Tranquilatus uh, AA. Uh, sorry, the Pulse. The Pulse version of the Mer T actually works, but you need to be working around it as a ship type because uh, it's back row and it will only protect the back row. Um, but we, we could do with more, more things that are like fleet-wide AA screen, uh, more like the Xeno. Like I, I'd like to see like maybe the uh, uh, the AA Wing Tassar which uses missiles. That should be maybe uh, like fleet wide instead of just row wide. Uh, that'd be nice. But yeah, we we could definitely do with uh, a lot more AA on all of the ships. Like the AA generally doesn't work. I know a lot of ships have these AA secondary weapons, but they they don't shoot like at yeah, all. Yeah, it, it, it won't work. And uh, and I I thought only the Ion Ruby is is okay currently because it, it can can uh, it can deal some damage and the ship and 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 a and deal damage a damage simultaneously so it, like the Zeno like the Zeno Stinger defense it can only do in AA. Yeah, it's, and, it's got no other purpose other than yeah, that. Yeah, because only only do do A and uh, and the damage is not enough for for if if he can only do one thing. I I think they sh uh, should should buff the buff the damage for for two or three times. Yeah, because um, at the at the current moment it's doing. Or two A ship. Yeah, yeah, because at the current moment 
it is only doing similar sort of AA damage as the Ruby. And like you said, the Ruby's also dishing out damage with its main cannon. So it's, it is in a position where the Xeno Defensive only being able to deal with aircraft, generally only being good if it's against Corvettes as well, not very good against fighters. Uh, but yeah, it's doing the same amount of damage as that, and it has no other option to do damage to anything else other than the uh, fighters. So yeah, no, I, I agree with you there that if it is going to be a solely AA ship, it should have the potential uh, to do like two times the damage it's currently doing just to sort of even it out. And then, it, you know, it gives you a reason to run it if you are seeing a lot of swarm. Yeah. And we can move to the next. The next question is which, uh, what is your favorite looking ship currently in the game? Yeah, so this is just a fun one. <laughs> yeah, for, for me it's Taurus. With if, and if 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 you got graduate from the, uh, on this ship, we we can transform the looks. Yeah, yeah, the, the Max uh, yeah. modules. I did a video showing them all off uh, about a couple of months ago, I think, now. Uh, yes. For me, it's the Marshall Crooks. Okay. Yeah, I love the asymmetry of it. I just think it's a really cool look. Uh, if it wasn't for that, it's probably the ST-59. I just like it. It looks quite industrial, and it looks like it should be doing the job that it, it should be doing anyway, but... Yeah, those kind of ships I just love the look of. I think they, they look fantastic. The uh, the art design in the game is by far the best art design of any mobile game I've played uh, pretty much ever, really. Yeah. And uh, SD50, SD50 Lie is a, is a very good aircraft carrier. Yeah, yeah, if you get the aircraft um, module on it with the EM armor and keep it mid-row, it, it does work really uh, great for bringing in. So it brings in four medium fighters, which is uh, not bad at all. For 28 CP, it's uh, it's not bad going. Yeah. Um, so let's move on to six. Are there any tips or tricks you find people miss that really help you improve at the game? I guess I, I guess um, uh, the the cruiser we 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 put the cruiser in the middle speed uh, fleet is is one of the is what is 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 one tricks that I, I already told you the uh, why we we do this. Yeah, the uh, light cone uh, to keep your CV3K alive a bit longer because it soaks up the damage. Yeah, and it and take takes the damage for for the uh, for, for your carrier because uh, it takes too long to uh, to create a new carrier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They they do take a long time. I had my um, so not last night, but the night before, uh, my base got uh, popped by uh, about ten guys attacked me, <laughs> uh, and I lost two CV3Ks and two ST59s. And yeah, that's put me in a position now where I'm like waiting for two days before I can really get back into the fight again. Because I can't wait for those ships to be built. Yeah. Uh, so like uh, the, the trick that I quite like that I don't see a lot of people doing is the when you're on, uh, when you're still leveling up your base, um, the AC721 generic, uh, if you upgrade the um, storage on it, it adds yeah. a lot more storage and you put it one of them into the medium fleets and it makes the efficiency of the fleet a lot better. And um, you just increase your overall mining uh, yield. Uh, that's a trick that I quite like that I don't see that many people doing. It's become a bit more known, especially within the, the top of unions to do that, uh, to like rapidly move up uh, and help you know build your base because it, it, it gets quite metal intensive. Uh, so you need that increased eco. 
And uh, that's a great way of getting increased eco. Yeah, but, but, but I think uh, more than half, half players in China server, they, they, they know this one. But but it, but we can't we cannot we cannot do this do this every time. Be, uh, if if we fight a very tense season, uh, we 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 have to fight at the very beginning of the season. Uh, so 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 we so so we cannot use the AC seven to one to to help the the mining. Yeah, you don't have the the command points to be able to get them out. I I, I get that as well. Um, I've had a few servers where we've been in early wars, and uh, we've been unable to do that. Which uh, yeah, yeah, no, I do understand. Yeah, that. but but if there's some Wales players, we uh, we should pro pro uh, pro provide them the environment so that they can they can do this one and they can. Uh... Yeah, sort of hold off the enemy while your whale you know gets his eco going like properly so then later on he comes into the fight you know fully fleshed out with all of his big ships that have you know v3 and v2 and uh, ready to just blow everything up in sight because they like a good whale player can normally take like two or three players on by themselves yeah and 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 the and this, and this situation is similar to to we play StarCraft or or Dota <laughs> 2. Oh no! Don't remind me of StarCraft 2. I was terrible at it. <laughs> yeah, but I uh, I was I was very good on StarCraft 2, uh, like 10 years ago. Yeah, I I played. I I got to gold. That was the best I could do in StarCraft 2. Uh, I was like top top of gold with Zerg. So, uh, Seven, uh, do you have any other content creators that create documentation on the game like Null Pointer? So we have this guy called Null Pointer. Um, there are a few others, but he's probably the most well-known at the current moment. He's, I don't know how he's done it, uh, but he's getting information directly between the client and the server. So he's finding out hit rates that don't exist in the game because there's no information on the ships uh, at the current moment about hit rates, uh, the base dodge rates of ships, uh, hit rates against certain classes of ships. Um, you know, he's worked out how much UAVs are healing, the minimum heal, how much a, like a single UAV heals, uh, all that kind of stuff. Have you got anybody that's doing documentation like that? Uh -huh. We 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 have we we have some influencer to share some game skill, but uh, but we we uh, I also read some information from Noon Pointer. Oh, <laughs> Noon Pointer, yeah. you're famous, even in China. <laughs> yeah, not 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 famous famous that much, but I I, I read on on his his doc, documents sometimes. Uh, nice. Cool. Um, I have and, a question. And we have some, yeah, but and other influencers, the their their ideas try in writing in Chinese letter. I can't speak to you. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. That's obviously makes sense. Um, so I've got number eight here, but I want to skip eight uh, at the moment. So do you want to move on to your questions? Uh, I guess our question is. Um, I guess my question is already uh, discussed. Yeah, I noticed yeah. some of them overlapped a little bit. Yeah, and and how much how much different do you think on the? I I don't I don't know the 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 the, the actual name of two kind of server. Uh, the the one is this system, and the others is a sector or or something else. That um, you, you you mean you when in a server? Yeah, we, uh, when we when we trying to join a server, we can choose two types, two two type of server. The one is you can directly into into specific server, and the, and the other choice is uh, you you uh, you will join a random server. You don't know. Oh, which, uh, which one? 
We, we, we don't have that. So uh, when we're in the hob and we have the server choices for the union, we just have two servers. And it's uh, normally either a data and a node recovery or a Trojo and a node recovery. And we, we just have to pick one of those two. We don't have like a random server. Okay, um, this random server is uh, it uh the is uh the random server is you if you pick some some type server uh, uh like like I pick the the node recovery uh it will arrange a random node recovery for me and for for the other other people who choose this uh, it's very similar to to the esports ranking system. Oh, right. Interesting. Yeah, no, we, we don't have that. Uh, as far as I'm aware, if you pick the node recovery and other unions pick the node recovery, uh, you will all go into the same server. Okay, maybe maybe that is could, should market more on the foreign market, on, on, on the Western market. Yeah, to, that'd to be fantastic, more... especially if it's yeah. got a ranking system so it knows what unions are doing well, so it puts top unions versus top unions. Because uh, it, it happens quite regularly at the moment that uh, a union will finish uh, the Pioneer system, the first server, and then they'll go into the node, second server, which might be node recovery, and they'll be fighting a union that's five or six servers in. And, you, you know, even the free-to-play players, five or six servers in are basically like the equivalent of Wales compared to the second server for a union. Yeah, um, but this system need, need, need a huge amount, amount of player to support. Yeah, I um, I actually don't know how many players there are on the Western servers in total. Um, it must be several thousand though, because there are multiple servers running like constantly. Um, and all of the servers, when they, they do come up and you're in the hub, you have to get in there within like the first few hours. If you've got a big hundred man union, uh, you need to like jump straight into that as soon as possible because they fill up and then you have to wait a week uh, before you can choose another server. Okay. Uh, in, in Chinese market, that is just doing, uh, doing, doing, it's just spend a lot of on Chinese server. We, we, we can saw it already, already on the, uh, on the top top one or top two download board. Oh right, yeah. I, I'm yeah. not certain on how how it's done over in the West. Uh, it's done well, uh, but yeah, the the mobile market in the West is a little bit weird at the moment with lots of random clicker games being at the top, which is uh, <laughs> it's just disappointing, yeah. really. <laughs> It's already grow, grow on, um, grew, grew, grew. Uh, it's already became one of the the hottest uh, mobile game in in Chinese market currently. Just 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 one or two weeks ago. Oh, nice. It maybe the latest thing. Think the uh, the the recent the recent update is very very. With the big. individual agreements. Yeah. Yeah, and after this, this agreement, um, this. I I the, I love the individual agreements, right? So um, I took the neutral agreement, and then I gave the privateer Noma Siege, uh, Mer Nubium Siege, and I've just sent the fleet off to go blow up outposts. <laughs> and I've yeah. just been sat there laughing, watching. NPC fleets blowing up outposts for me. It's just been so funny to do. Um, now everyone knows that <laughs> trick and they're going to be trying it. <laughs> yeah, they spend enormous budgets on this game uh, recent weeks. So it became became a hot topic in the whole Chinese game industry. Excellent. Yeah, well, that's good news. Yeah, it, I, I'm not sure how it's doing over in um, in the West again. Uh, I'll, I'll have to check and I'll, I'll probably get back to you on that one at some point. 